my dear students, President Kennedy once dispatched two observers to South Vietnam to assess conditions. Major General Victor Krulak spoke almost exclusively to U.S. soldiers advising the Vietnamese Army and concluded the war was going well. Joseph Mendenhall of the State Department spoke almost exclusively to opponents of the government. Unsurprisingly, he concluded that this government would fail, leading to civil war. When Krulak and Mendenhall briefed Kennedy together, so opposed were their conclusions that the president quipped, the two of you did visit the same country, didn't you? Thoreau's words are apt. It's not what you look at that matters, it's what you see. In our Torah portion, Shalach Lecha, Moses dispatches 12 scouts to assess the situation in Canaan. A majority returns with a dire report, while two offer a positive evaluation. Moses could well have said to the two groups, are you sure you visited the same country? After the liberation of the death camps, Rabbi Eliezer Silver tried to revive the spirit of the survivors by organizing prayer services. One refugee refused to participate, explaining that he had rejected Judaism because he once saw a religious Jew in the camp who had smuggled in a prayer book and charged people half their bread ration to use it for 10 minutes. After witnessing such cruelty, he refused to have anything to do with prayer or Judaism. Rabbi Silver offered him a new perspective. You only see the Jew who was so cruel, he said. What about the holy Jews willing to give up half their meager rations for just 10 minutes with a prayer book? Two people can view the same event, and one notices cruelty, while the other notices holiness. We do not have the power to choose what we see, but we have the power to choose how we see it. Shabbat Shalom.